Hi, right, today we're going to be showing you how to use the Millennium 951-ES keypad along with the State Swing 433 MHz two-channel receiver and the State Swing 433 MHz transmitter module. Now, before you begin, you want to make sure that your gate operator is fully installed and operational before you install any accessories. First thing we're going to do now is we're going to grab the module and we're going to pair it to the receiver. So what you want to go ahead and do is strip the two ends like how I have them here, and then you're going to go ahead and take a 9-volt battery and connect it to the module. So that way we can transmit that signal. Alright, now that we got the 9-volt battery connected, what you want to go ahead and do is just hold these uh, two stranded ends in your hand. And in this case, we're going to be using channel 1. You can also use channel 2, but in this case, we'll just go ahead and use channel 1. Go ahead and press and release this learn button, and you want to go ahead and hold the two stranded ends together. The LED on the receiver is going to blink and turn off. The relay will click and the gate will open. Now that we've done that, we're going to put this aside here for just a moment. We're just going to flip down our cover here of the keypad. You want to first make sure that your six dip switch is in the off position for a hardwired installation since we will be taking the two stranded ends of the 433 estate swing module and wiring them to the normally open circuit of the keypad. And I'm just going to go ahead and explain these terminals really quick because it's going to be a very Im important part of the installation. First two terminals are the incoming power. The very first one is positive and the second one is negative. The third terminal down is the normally open which is labeled NO on the board. Next one down is the common which is labeled COM and the very last terminal is the normally closed which is labeled NC. We're only going to be using the incoming power and the normally open and the common. Now, the first terminal, the input, can take anywhere from 7 all the way up to 24 volts DC. I'm just going to go ahead and use 9 volts. I'm going to take my first lead to the positive. Take my second lead to the negative. Another good tip for you is to make sure that your wires are fully stripped and that the terminal is not crimping down on the insulation of the wire. Now we're going to go ahead and wire in the module. You're going to take your red to the normally open. And we're going to take the black to common. Now we'll go ahead and uh, program the keypad. So we're going to just connect this 9 volt battery to power up the keypad. And make sure that all connections are safely stored in the back of the keypad. Now that we have the keypad powered, what you're going to hear is a consistent beep. Just to give you an example of how to program this keypad, we're going to go ahead and use the factory sample master code from the manual and the factory sample entry code from the manual. This consistent beep that you're hearing means that we need to enter a master code. So we're going to go ahead and do that which is 2580. We got the two indicators so we know it took the master code. Next we're going to go ahead and program that factory sample entry code. So first thing you want to do is always enter the master code before any type of programming which is 2580. Next we'll hit 1 and then pound then the entry code which is 1934 and then we'll finish it off by hitting pound. And we got the indicators once again and we know that it took a code. Lastly, just to test the keypad and make sure that it's all working in unison, we're going to go ahead and just enter the code, which is 1934. You hear the relay click and the gate should open. Thank you for watching this video by WebDirect Brands and our partner stores. Please view the details on the screen to find more information about our products and where to buy them. Our product pages are filled with information to answer any questions you may have, and our customer service staff are standing by to assist you in your purchase. We hope you have found this video helpful, and be sure to visit our sites on the screen and in the description to view more of our useful products.